bricks here. So today we just got back from the Lego store and uh, I think it's the biggest pick a brick haul that we've ever gotten. We got the equivalence of 30 pick a brick cups. So let's go ahead and dump these out. I'll put all the cups into the basket just to see. A lot of these cups were from last pick a brick that we went. And I brought them back and we used them and got a discount. And then while we were there, to save an additional 50 cents per cup, we had them put the bricks inside little baggies. You can combine two pick-a-brick cups into a bag. And from there, you can save an additional 50 cents per cup. So that's a $1 savings per bag. And then on top of it, today is October 1st. They had the Ray the Castaway free gift if you spend $100 for VIP. And if you had $50, you got this VIP spooky add-on pack. And it gives you a lot of supplemental pieces that you can use in your builds. Especially this fence piece. That one actually looks pretty cool. So yeah, let's go ahead and dump these out and see what we all got. So on the pick a brick wall today, they had these lavender leaf elements, which these are just awesome. And then they had these blue translucent, this looks like translucent purple with glitter. So let's go ahead and dump all this out. They had these leafy elements. Looks like olive green, which is a great find. And we got tons of these purple leaves. Just a huge, awesome thing to find. And we got a whole bag of these orange cheese wedge tile roof tiles. Let's go ahead and mix them up. And then they had these clear translucent round discs and clear, or this is light blue translucent, and clear translucent rounds. These are perfect for elevating builds in the city, giving that impression of flying objects like planes and helicopters and minifigures and all that good stuff. We got a bunch of that. And they had a bunch of these 4 by 12 red plates and all kinds of these white slopes. These are going to come in handy when we do the mountain area because we're going to have snow on the ground.
And they also had some of these red translucent one by two bricks. This is just a great find as well. And some two by six lime green. And it looks like a one by two with studs on the side. I'm not sure what this piece is called exactly. Awesome, awesome find today. Pick a brick wall. Just incredible details. Brick, brand new. Everything is fresh from the first two months. And they put out new bricks at the beginning of each month. And I got a ton of these dark gray corner rounds tiles. Perfect for using them in the road as far as pothole details and edge work and trim on the side of buildings to give it some depth and some mountain sides, adding a lot of character to the depth of the, of the mountain. And they had the one by 12 red brick. I got a bunch of those. Let's keep going here. I'll clean that out later. All kinds of gray elements. And they have these gray cones. And a whole bunch of these spider webs. I've got a ton of spiders with them. They had a lot of October, October themed elements. Kind of went with Halloween and all kinds of different October colors. A bunch of these green arch pieces. These are going to be great for adding a little bit of detail in the grass area. And all kinds of these arches. I got a plan I'm going to use for these arches, but I'm going to keep that. And tons of these. Look like taps, gray taps. These are going to be really nice to use, kind of like in a if you were going to design a fence, putting a whole bunch in a row and then having a fence along the edge of a like a pier or some kind of a waterway or even just along the side of a highway. Got a ton more of these dark. I'm not sure what color this is. Dark nougat. These are great too. Clean all those off later. Really. Here's another great find. They had the two by ten. One, two, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two by ten green. So this is going to be great to use in the boulevards and alongside the highways for adding grassy elements. And they had a ton. They had a brand new box of these one by one rounds with a hole. These are perfect for using in trees and all kinds of field elements and grass elements. I got a ton of that. And when you get to pick a brick, you always want to stack the bricks to maximize your space. So let's go ahead and continue to open up. 
these. So the next bucket, we got a ton of these jumper plates with the stud on the side. Nougat color, I'm not exactly sure what these are called. A bunch of those. And then I got a whole other bunch of these sand corner rounds, corner pieces. These are gonna be great for detail along the beach. When we do the beach, give some depth to the sand. And then kind of as some filler, I got some one by three. And then just some random one by two in orange. And I got a whole bunch of these green slopes again. So this is just gonna be great for detail work on the fields and grassy areas, inside of the forest areas, and all kinds of different detailed work that you can use as far as different different elevations, adding some depth to the, the ground level. And then I have a whole bunch of these white smokes. Awesome to get more of those green ones. I got two bricks, two whole stacks of those tan rounds. And then they had one by one round tiles. Dark blue. These are always great to have. And then I had a whole bunch of these two by four or two by two jumper plates with the studs on the side. I'm not exactly sure what these are called. And then I found a whole bunch of these. Looks like dark gray or no, but dark gray about uh, dark tan jumper tiles. These are great. You can use them in the fields or all kinds of areas where you can use a lot of depth in the, in the landscape. And the more of those green studs with the foam, use those in the fields and trees and grassy areas. And a full cup of the green. And some white one by three. And some triangle white corner pieces, six by six. Some of these grates. And then a handful of these. Looks like the black roof tiles. Mini one by one triangle roof tiles. more of those white ones. And they had these ones that were pretty cool. I thought these would be neat. Kind of used for either bus stations, kind of as a, as a canopy over the bus stop. 
like lining a whole bunch of them and using them as like a little seating area underneath. And then some green, all kinds of different colored elements they have. And then they always have a random, a random brick or a container that holds all the leftovers from the previous pick-a-brick stocks that they get. So then they just filled a cup of random bricks just for some added detail and some, some variety. More of those gray pieces. Some red, one four by four by twelve red plates. And some, some more random for some added variety. if you're new to the channel and stay tuned for updates I actually went ahead and looked at the last pick a brick total came up to over $750 on the previous video that I posted earlier this week and I'm actually gonna try to figure out what the total value is of this bin based off of pick a brick Pick a brick cost versus total cost. So these are just great, great finds. All kinds of awesome things you can do with each one of these elements. So yeah, thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe. <laughs>